Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Vicious Computers and welcome to a quick tutorial and guide. Today I'm going to be going over some PAL World stuff. I just picked up this game yesterday to try it out and I'm actually enjoying it. Um, but I spent my entire first day troubleshooting some stuff. Um, it was quickly apparent that there's some issues with this game when it comes to its support for widescreen. So this is a 32 by 9 ultra wide, or I guess you would call it a super ultra wide monitor. And a lot of you have 21 by 9 ultra wide monitors. And this game by default, when you play it in anything wider than 16 by 9, which is your standard widescreen, instead of expanding your FOV, it crops. It will cut the top and the bottom of your game screen away from you. Uh, or some people call that zooming. So that's an issue. And I have a fix for that. So I'm going to show you that fix. There's other people who have also shown that fix. I found it on Reddit, and so I'm just going to show you how to do it. The other thing is, there's either full screen or windowed mode on this game. And full screen takes up your entire screen, which in my case isn't good because I really don't like 32 by 9. It's just too wide. It puts the, the HUD elements too far off to the side. And sometimes it's just distracting to be that wide. So I prefer to play in 21 by 9 in windowed mode. And you can't do that on this game either. If you go into the graphics options, um, the windowed mode, every resolution I have an option for is just a lower resolution version of 16 by 9. So there's no like 21 by 9 options. So I found out how to resize that so you can play the game in a custom resolution. And that's something I'm going to show you on this video as well. And I haven't seen anyone else cover that. Every time I Googled it and looked for a video or a guide on it, the only thing I saw um, was people showing you how to literally open the options up on the game and change the resolution. Like it was not truly any kind of guide at all. So uh, let's go through first. I want to demonstrate the issue. So we're in 16 by nine. If we look at this cabin here, you see how we have just a little bit of space and above it and below it. If I was to make this wider now, so let's expand this out from 16 by nine. Let's make this, I'm going to open up my script that I'm working on. I'm going to run my script and with the push of a key, I'll be able to expand this from 16 by nine to 21 by nine and watch how I lose FOV. It's going to zoom in on the top and the bottom. So you see, it just zoomed in and it cropped the game. So that's the issue with um, wider resolutions. And if we go to full screen, it's even worse. If we go to full screen mode, Look how zoomed in that is. Like your character is almost cut in half. Everything's just way too zoomed in. So I'm gonna show you that fix first and then I'll show you how to do the custom resolutions. So let's go ahead and exit the game. Well, let's, let's change it back to um, window mode at 2160. Let's exit the game. All right. So this is where we need to get to the C drive users, whatever your user profile name is, app data, local, pal, saved, config, windows. I'll put that down in the video description so you have it as a reference. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to get to it. I like to be very in depth with my guides. So open up your file explorer, go to C drive, go to users, go to your profile name, now, app data is a hidden folder, so you have to either go into the view folder options and then uh, find show hidden items on Windows 10, or here on Windows 11, it's just right there, show hidden items. Alternatively, you can just go up to the address bar, get your cursor in there so that you can type, do a backslash and just type app data and hit enter. It will take you to your app data folder, even though it's hidden. Go to local, go to pal, Go to saved and go to config and go to windows. And now this folder, you can bookmark it, create a shortcut to it, whatever you want. This is where all your configuration files live. And this is where the file is that we're going to edit to fix our FOV. So look for the one called engine. Let's see, where is it at for me? It's at the bottom. Engine INI. I'm going to open it with Notepad. You could also just use regular Notepad. And we're going to copy and paste two lines. Again, these will be in the video description, so you can copy and paste them. I'm going to open up a copy of my configuration that I already have this change. 
so I can just copy and paste it. And so we'll paste these two lines in. We're adding a new header. You see how there's headers in each section here? Like this is Windows application accessibility. We're adding slash script engine local player. And we're adding a flag that says keep the aspect ratio constraints. Um, maintain the Y, the vertical FOV. So we're pasting that in. Save it. And next time you launch your game, you shouldn't have a crop issue anymore. If for some reason your game is overriding this file back to default values, right click it, go to properties and check the read only box. And that means the game will no longer be allowed to make changes to this file. So they'll get stuck. Uh, that also means you can't change any other, any other options. So if you want to change more options, you're going to have to um, undo that read only mark. So let's restart the game completely load it back up. All right, so here we are back into our game after we made the changes to the configuration file for the engine.ini, and this is gonna fix our FOV issues. So now you can see that we didn't get zoomed in, our character is not cut in half, and our FOV has expanded completely outward. So a lot of people, um, there's another tweak that's out there. The normal FOV, tweak is right here it's from 90 you can go from 70 to 90 and that's the maximum amount if you were to use a hex editor you can make that higher than 90 but even with a 32 by 9 monitor leaving it on 90 and just doing that tweak I just showed you is all you need to do it um, it gives you a perfectly acceptable FOV and you don't have to go in there and do any hex editing so that's the the first situation handled the next one let's go change over to windowed mode and we'll put it on that 16 by 9 resolution which is th 3840 by 2160 so here we go what I want to do is I'm going to exit the game one more time and I'm going to show you how to do a custom windowed resolution it says exit the game quit and yes so you saw that I have the ability to resize the game with a hotkey that's a, a script I'm working on let me just kind of show that on screen real quick I published a script like this for cyberpunk but I don't think anyone really used it no one said they wanted it no one really used it as far as I know so I don't think I'm going to take the time to publish this for pal world unless I get a lot of people that say I really want that I could use it because I don't want to waste my time programming it <laughs> if no one's going to use it but what it does is it gives me the ability to resize the window uh, also, it fixes the fact that it's behind the taskbar. It makes it fit perfectly to my monitor. It gives me some quality of life features, like when I press the F key, it'll hold it down for me while I'm building stuff. And um, it puts the black bars on the side so it hides my desktop when I'm in windowed mode. And then another hotkey combination to hide it. So I'll show that to you in just a second. But this tutorial is not how to use my program. It's how to do these configurations on your own. So in that same folder as before with all of our configs, we're gonna go to the user, I think it's called user, game user settings, I and I, and then we're gonna edit that. Now this folder or this file has all of your major options in it as far as configuration of the game, your graphic settings, your resolution, etc. You can see in here it has my desktop resolution of 7680 by 2160. That's our screen, our AKA desktop size. But just above it, you're going to find the game resolution. And all we got to do is just type in our new resolution. So 3840 by 2160 is that 16 by 9 window. I'm just going to bump this up to 5840. And I also like to change the confirmed resolution. Basically, it tells the game the last time I played, this is the resolution I was using. It just kind of helps make everything stick. Save those settings. Exit. And let's relaunch the game. Now when we get that window mode back up again, it's going to be extra wide. You see that we now have a custom window size. So this is almost, this is greater than 21 by nine in the current situation that I have it configured at. So with those two tweaks, you can fix your FOV and you can run in any window resolution that you want. Real quick while we're in here, let's go ahead and run that script one more time. And I'll just show you what that does. So basically, it's going to take the game, bring it to the front, put black bars beside it. At any point in time, I can 
resized window, so it fixes the uh, window being behind the taskbar. I can minimize the black bars in the game, so I can do stuff on my desktop. And I have it set up so that instead of having, having to hold F to do something on this game, which is I found is quite annoying, I just press Shift and F, and it will uh, automatically hold the F key for me, so I can be hands-free. And then when I come back, I just press Shift and G, and it will undo that for me. So I uh, think this is going to be useful if anyone wants it, but the problem is I need to write it so that you can change it for your own personal settings, like your screen resolution and, and all that, and that's the part where it's going to take time. So before I put that time in, i got to make sure there's actually a need. So once again, I hope this uh, tutorial was useful. This was Patrick from Vicious Computers, and I'll see you next time.